The grim reality of war is only getting worse. People forced to live with the bombs and bodies after two and a half years. Today, new draft notices going out affecting men as young as 25 to make themselves available for the effort to fight Russia. Our international correspondent Megumi Lin joins us now live from Key. And, and Megumi, any sense of just how many men are expected to receive these, these notices? Well, the new mobilization law actually came into effect on May 18th, just a month after President Zelensky signed it into law. And after May 18th, Ukrainian men, military-aged men, were given a 60-day window to update their information with military authorities. And this week, that 60-day period expired, which is why draft notices will be going out. Now, the Defense Ministry has said that it has so far collected information on about from about 4.7 million men, but it is unclear how many of these men men will be receiving draft notices. Officials here have been very unclear about the numbers. Ukraine's former top commander, Valery Zaluzhny, last December said Ukraine will be needing about 500,000 men to replenish its depleted troops. But later on, his successor, Alexander Sirsky, the current top commander, said that the number is much lower without giving any details. Now, on the other hand, Russia has been reportedly recruiting about 30,000 men each month, which is a staggering number but we also have to remember they have been suffering heavy losses each day but it is still clear that Ukrainian troops are very much outnumbered by Russian troops on the battlefield uh, now draft notices were already being handed out before the 60-day period expired officials say the number of newly mobilized soldiers doubled in the month of May and and June compared to the previous two months but we are indeed expecting more of these draft notices going out now that the 60-day period has expired expired. Megumi, there are reports that, that draft dodgers are paying thousands of dollars to be smuggled out of the country. What can you tell us about those reports and, and how they're being handled? Well, first of all, mobilization has indeed become a very sensitive topic here after two years of war. Most men who are willing to fight have already joined up uh, and for others, enthusiasm to enlist has waned and for many it is a terrifying prospect to think about possibly getting drafted. So many or some Ukrainian men have taken on this very costly and risky endeavor to illegally flee the country. We have to remember there is still martial law in place which prohibits uh, Ukrainian men aged 18 to 60 to leave the country which means that some of these men have to pay thousands of dollars to smugglers to help them get out of the country by foot through very dangerous terrains, forests, and some even swimming across rivers. According to officials, about 40 men have died already uh, swimming, trying to swim across the Tysa River, which runs along the western border of Ukraine. And officials also say the border with Moldova and Romania have been particularly popular so far. About 30,000 men have illegally crossed into both of these countries. Uh, unfortunately uh, for these men, if they are caught, they often face the very thing that they've been trying to avoid, which is military service. Our international correspondent, Megumi Lim, live on the scene for us in Kyiv, Ukraine. Megumi, stay safe.